Welcome to another episode of Sensational Soup. My name is Ramsey and today I'm going to take you on a little tour of downtown Sioux Falls. Some of the questions I get asked are, what's it like? Is it big? What's there to do in downtown Sioux Falls? 20 years ago, downtown Sioux Falls had a lot less traffic, a lot less things to do, and definitely not as many food selections. Are you ready to take a tour of downtown Sioux Falls? Let's go. If you haven't been to downtown Sioux Falls before, there are over 35 bars and restaurants right in downtown Sioux Falls. One of the things I love most about downtown Sioux Falls is there's always something to do. We even have our own website designated for what's going on in downtown Sioux Falls. And it goes for every single weekend throughout the entire summer. What I personally love is how majority of these bars and restaurants are small business owners. If you're in town, you need to check out our wine bar, which is my favorite Italian restaurant in Sioux Falls. If you get the opportunity, you have to try the bruschetta. My wife and I absolutely destroy that every single time we go there. We've tried about every single pasta there. From the food to the service, we have never been let down yet. Also, if you're looking for a good wine, the Juggernaut is absolutely amazing. You also need to check out Crave. Crave has a huge menu, which is great for big parties or if you just aren't sure what you quite want. And it's located right along the Big Sioux River and there's a beautiful patio that gives you a great view. So now we're standing at the Bing Sculpture. The Bing Sculpture is part of the Sculpture Walk in downtown Sioux Falls. Every year, downtown Sioux Falls holds a Sculpture Walk which features great artists and great art at the same time. During the Sculpture Walk, the art is actually placed out for one year and once the contract expires, all of the sculptures become for sale to the public. If you're looking for great art and don't mind getting some great exercise at the same time, you'll have to check out the Sculpture Walk. Now for those of you who are more interested into exploring of what downtown Sioux Falls has to offer, you gotta check out the historic Orpheum Theater, which is still up and running to this day. The Orpheum Theater was built in 1913 for just $63,000. It seats 686 people, and then in another auditorium, it seats up to 450 people. Plus, there's an additional classroom that seats 75 to 100 people. The Orpheum Theater hosts plays, concerts, dance, and other forms of entertainment. It's also available for weddings, meetings, banquets, and concerts. So if any of that sounds like a lot of fun to you, then you must put this on your list of things to check out in downtown Sioux Falls. All right, so now that you got an idea of what it's like to live in downtown Sioux Falls, you're probably wondering what you're gonna get for your money. So we're standing at the 421 Jones Seed Condominiums. These condos average two bedroom, two bath, around 1,200 square feet. The price on average is around 400 to 500,000. So it's not often that these condominiums are available on the market. Renting may be a good option for you as well. For a two bedroom, two bathroom, around 1,200 square feet, you could get right around 1,500 to 1,800 a month. All right, everyone, so what do you think? I absolutely love downtown Sioux Falls. It has so much to offer from dining, restaurants, outdoor activities, and much, much more. If you ever have any questions about living in Sioux Falls, please feel free to reach out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my page. There's a lot more videos about living in Sioux Falls that I would definitely check out if you're interested. My name's Ramsey. Thanks for watching.